What's up, class of 2024? Let me be the 137th person to congratulate you on this truly extraordinary achievement. My name is Oluwami Dosumo Ogumbi, or just Wami. And if you do not know me right now, that is okay. But I want you to remember me as the University of Michigan's first black woman to get a PhD in robotics. We did it, class of 2024. We can officially call ourselves Michigan engineers. As we celebrate this momentous occasion, I want us to reflect on why we chose to become engineers. For some, it may because, be because you like working with your hands. For others, you like tearing things apart and hopefully putting them back together again. I am here because I really, really wanted to wear this funny hat. That is no joke. At my high school graduation, I saw one of my teachers in fancier regalia than the rest. In classic neurodivergent fashion, I hyper fixated on wanting to wear the same funny hat that she was wearing. When someone told me that I needed to get a PhD to wear it, I said, cool, I guess I'm going to get a PhD then. What are the field options? They responded, well, you are the child of Nigerian immigrants, so your options are doctor, lawyer, or engineer. <laughs> so I thought about it. Well, I can't be doctor because I hate blood. Lawyer is out because I would pass out if I ever had to talk in front of a large crowd of people. <laughs> so, I guess that just leaves engineer. Regardless of what spurred you down the path of becoming an engineer, you have made it to this milestone. We are engineers. More significantly, we are Michigan engineers. A Michigan engineer is one who does not just provide scientific and technological leadership, but also is one who is intellectually curious, socially conscious, creates collaborative solutions to societal problems, and promotes an inclusive and innovative community of service for the common good. We each have a solemn duty to make positive contributions to the world. While my reasons for becoming an engineer were initially frivolous, they did eventually morph into something more meaningful. I want to have a positive impact on the world. I do not stand here on my own two feet alone. None of us got here by our individual merit alone, whether it be teacher, family, friends, mentors, or role models, we each have one or multiple people to whom we are grateful for making this moment possible. I almost did not make it to the stage. In January of 2020, I had to leave my previous PhD program. I had worked so hard, attaining honors, awards, and academic merit, and yet I still failed. Thankfully, nothing else happened later that year in 2020 to make things exponentially worse. <laughs> but clearly, something positive eventually did happen. After all, I am standing on this stage. It was through the support of my faculty mentors who saw my situation and gave me a second chance. I share this story to emphasize the critical importance for us to be socially conscious 
and promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion in our solutions. Remember the people in your lives who loved and supported you through your achievements. Embody their positive impact in your life to build a future that will elevate all people for those already here and those yet to come. This is the core of the Michigan engineer, to put people first. The people whom you positively affect will turn around to positively affect others. And who knows, maybe you can help a little girl achieve her dream of wearing a funny hat. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2024, and forever, go blue.